hello guys and welcome to fj success youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how you can set up yoast seo plugin for any wordpress website so if you don't know what yoast is yoast is a seo plugin that allows you to set up seo for um, wordpress website without um, knowing much about seo okay so it's completely free to install um, you can upgrade to the paid plan but um, in most cases, you're going to find that the free plan is enough for a basic WordPress website. So to install this plugin, first of all, go over to the plugins tab on our WordPress dashboard and click on add new. Okay. So just click on add new and it's going to take you to the WordPress repo. So we're going to search for Yoast via the search bar here. And as you can see here, this is the plugin. Just click on install now and this is going to be downloaded to your wordpress server so click on activate to make this plugin active on your wordpress website okay so once this is done click on settings and it's going to take you to the yoast um, dashboard over here so i already configured this plugin before but i'm just going to go over uh, the configuration again for this tutorial so check over here you're going to see this configuration wizard link just click on it and it's going to take you to the configuration wizard so the first section of the wizard is environment so you have to select if your wordpress is already live and indexed or if it's still under construction so i'm going to leave this as a and move on to the next step which is selecting a site type so you can select your type type if your website is a blog or an online shop you can select that over here i'm just going to leave this as small offline business then i'll click on next and over here you need to select the if your blog is being run by an by a person or an organization so by default it's set as person and once it's set as person you have to select a user on your wordpress website so the only user on this wordpress website is admin so that's why admin is checked you can also select um, organization and add in an uh, organization details okay so if this blog or website belongs to a company you'd fill all this stuff here okay I'm just going to leave this as person, select the user and click on next. Next up here is search engine visibility. So uh, by default, WordPress has two content types. We have posts and we have paid pages. So just make sure these two are checked. If you want um, your posts and your pages to be shown on uh, Google SERP, uh, some certain teams are going to have extra post types like appointments and calendars you can you're going to see them listed here if they are available on your wordpress website so you can just select if you want them to be indexed or not so next up is the author selection so if your site has multiple authors you just select yes and if you have just one author make sure you select no okay so it's going to help you to prevent duplicate content if you have more than one author so click on next and the next step here is setting a title so this is your what wordpress website name is this is inherited from your general settings when you were setting up wordpress but you can change this over here if you want something different to be shown on google SERP. and over here you just select a separator so click on next and you don't have to at this part here you just uh, select if you want to improve yours so if you want to improve yours make sure you check, check yes so it's going to take your site data and improve yours but in most cases you're going to leave this as no okay so just click on next and that's basically everything that you need to do to set up your yoast plugin just click on next now that, that's basically the end of the entire wizard here so if you click on close it's going to take you back to the dashboard use also allows you to make further configurations uh, via these three tabs here so we have futures integrations and webmaster tools let's start with webmaster tools when we were configuring yoast um, we already configured for google so there's no need for you to add this in but if you want to add in verification code for bing you can add that here if you click on this it's going to take you to bing webmaster you can also do that for beardu and yandex okay but in most cases, you're just going to be using only the Google verification uh, code section here. So if you want to re-authenticate um, the Google, uh, your Google account, or uh, you reconnect your domain to um, the Google search uh, console, you can do that by clicking on this button here. Okay, so that's basically it for this part. Integrations. Um, if you want to enable integration with SEMrush or Write, you can 
do that here you, but by default i think this is left as on so when you uh have a semrush account and you want to integrate it with yoast you can do that from here so we also have futures so this is uh, a list of all the futures that yoast offers so we have seo analysis readability analysis so if you want to disable any of these futures you can do that from here also so yoast is very modular you don't really need to have everything turned on you can turn off anything that you don't want okay so once you're done with everything here that's basically everything about uh, that's basically everything about setting up yoast for a wordpress website there's nothing else to yoast okay so i hope you guys found this video useful if you have any questions related to yoast you can ask via the comment section below and if you found this video useful don't forget to leave a like um below for the video and subscribe to our channel for more content with everything covered about this video i'll see you guys in the next video